Hello friends and welcome back to Bitfumes and this is the Angular Plus Laravel series and we are working on the login part in this episode. So before going to the coding part, let me share my experience. Last night I was trying to create this video, the exact this one, but that was failed because I started recording the video. I have just connected my Blue Yeti mic. But what happened after I recorded 15 minutes video and then when I came to edit that video aha uh -huh, i realized that the recording was done with my internal mic not with my blue at so i have to delete all that recording and that was a huge mistake and loss of time but nevertheless i'm recording this and this time yeah i'm sure this is blue at recording my voice and let's start coding so we have this login page if i click here yeah we are having login works this means if i go to vs code on the front end source app component lots of tree and login then login.component.html here is the login works so that's why it's working okay so we need to firstly create the form here but to create the form i will firstly have margin top of four and hyphen four then we have a call of eight then we have offset of uh, Two. so this means on the left side we have two offset then we have eight form and then the on the right side we have remaining two so this means the form will be on the center here we will firstly create a card inside the card that should be card header and header will be login here then we have the card body and inside card body we will have to create a form but let's go to chrome and here i will go to getbootstrap.com on the components part let's go to forms in the form search for horizontal this one horizontal form and let's copy the code go to vs code paste it but remember we don't need checkboxes so let's just see how it's going to look login yeah these things are here but don't need checkbox and radios so let's not delete these things so delete these things and with the field set also so this is gone so we have this submit button and let's move it like this then we have this password field and we have this email field okay so email name is not there so let's give a name of email similarly on the password there is no name so name is password inside double quotes this also has to be inside double quotes okay so these are the things but let's see how it's going to look yeah it's nice okay so next part is like uh, this form has to be and has to be a name or ID or whatever it's having it's like login form and this is this is the ID identifier is a ng form but if I give this and save it yeah editor is giving error because of the extensions I have and this is because it says ng form doesn't looks like in the package we have it still so let's go to app.module.ts on here let's import import what forms module and forms module from obviously angular angular hyphen forms okay so let's use this forms module inside this import statement yeah this is good and after some time this error will be gone because when it compile everything it will be gone then we need a submit part so whenever we are submitting so ng submit but it's not ng submit in like this it has to be ng submit inside the parenthesis we will call a function called on submit this is the function we need to call so let's go and yeah it's giving error and you can see the error for this one is gone but we have this error because it says on submit there is no method so let's just create the method and that's uh, so that there will be no error so on submit 
this is the method or the function we have created so let's open console no error everything is working fine so we have this and this let's now do one thing on this login.component.ts just anywhere let's create a public form as an object and here we will say email is null initially and password is also null initially so we have defined these things and now what i'm going to do on this login component this input of email is like we have to give uh, like uh, ng model and ng model will be equal to form dot email okay and similarly for the password field form dot password and now yeah no error but what i want if there is nothing here that means these fields are not having any value then this sign in button is disabled so it's like firstly we have to give the validation of required this is very important you have to give this required field on this input box and now here on this sign in button i will say firstly this is square bracket and this abled when this is going to be disabled when this the form we have so name of the form is login form or the identifier so login form dot uh, dot valid yeah this is not valid so this form is not valid then it is disabled if it is valid then it's not going to be disabled so let's go and see yes you can see it is disabled but if i give something here and something here it is enabled yeah it's enabled remove password disabled so this is simple part we have done now let me show you something interesting if i inspect this element you will see on this inspect part you will see we have various kind of classes attached with this email these classes ng uh, pristine pristine whatever it is ng invalid ng untouched is here but we have not provided these classes so these classes ng ng classes are coming from the angular so this means if i go inside and type something you can see it says ng valid but what i am going to show you is that if i am not giving anything inside this it's having ng invalid if i say something ng valid this means we can attach or we can create a css system which just check for this ng invalid or ng valid so let's go to vs code or here on this app uh, styles.css let's give a style here i will say dot ng hyphen invalid if it is invalid and i'm going to exclude not of form so this has to be like this not on the form i'm going to give because this class are also attached to the form also so i'm not going to give any css to the form itself just for this input text box so when this is done then i will say border left is has to be five pixel solid and red colored okay and here one thing is remaining we have to give a colon here and now everything is good so let's see how it's going to look yeah it is red colored and similarly if i copy this and paste it here make it valid ng valid border left it's not red color now now we will see uh, green colored okay so let's see how it's going to look so if i type something yeah it is green and if i remove yeah it is red so this validation is given by the angular and we have used that validation okay so the next part and now i'm going to give these things and let's see how this sign in button will work so we have done something let's see we have here the submit button and when this form submit then we will call the on submit method which we have created here on the login.component.ts where it is yeah here so let's console.log 
something so something okay <laughs> let's try something then here open the console and we have to firstly validate these thing these fields so that we have the uh, active sign in button so let's give email and password active it is active so sign in click on this sign in it's not working so let's see why it's not working so we have this and on ng submit that has to be with a capital s okay so let's try once more so bit fumes one two three sign in and yes something is here something is here exactly something word is here okay so this means now what we can say because we have these forms so we can instead of something we can log out this dot form okay so let's once more try and this is good one two three sign in and yes we have this object email is this password is this the only part for the login remains is that we just have to give these things to uh, our Laravel and then our Laravel will validate these things and check and give us the token. So for that, for giving an Ajax call, we have to use HTTP module. So obviously, as always, we have to import it on the app.module.ts. And one weird thing is that when we have imported it here on the forms module, it imported here and we have already written that import part here. So let's remove from here. Okay, now error is gone. So what we are going to import, which is HTTP uh, client and module. So let's use this and here we have, so I think that has to be different one. So let's try first one, it's from Angular. But let's try second one, it's from Angular HTTP. Okay, so this is saying that HTTP is not there. Okay, why is not there? So maybe it's for common dot, then comes HTTP. Okay, so this has to be from the Angular common HTTP. So we have done that import part, but here to use that module, we have to get on the constructor so private http colon http client and again http client so this has to be from angular and angular common http and this is done so this means we can use http which is just we have here and this dot http dot post it's a post request to the URL, any URL, and let's try to see what it's going to do. But we have some kind of error. It says expected two or three parameter. So this is good because it's a post request. We have to pass the data. So this dot form dot form we have to pass. And now there is no error. So let's see what it's going to do. Refresh. We will have this password is one two three sign in and it's not doing anything because we have not done anything with this we have just given a post request so let's return this let's say dot subscribe and here the data will come like console dot log data and if there is any error so then error is going to give console.log error so how about these things so let's go here and yeah one two three sign in and you can see we have all these things that means there is a post request and because we have console logged that error so that's why we have these errors here and on the network we have these things and now the url has to be perfect so instead of this, I will say HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 8000. So because our server is working properly on the backend for the Laravel, yeah, 127 is same as localhost. And if I say slash login, and this is going to be the API, but API is exactly 
like API slash auth slash login. So how about these things? So Bitfumes, one, two, three, sign in. And this time it's saying access control allow origin. That means we have to set some kind of headers on the backend side so that the level listen whatever the request coming from localhost 4200. The Angular has 4200 and Laravel has 8000 and we have to sync between these two. So we will do exact same thing resolving these things and getting the token on the next part. So if you have liked this episode, don't forget to share this video with your developer friends so that everyone know how to use Laravel and Angular. Don't forget to subscribe, like with Fumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We will meet in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.